up, guys? Welcome to Upstreet Online. I'm Matt, and I'm so glad that you're here. This month, we're talking about the most important thing that ever happened in the history of the world and how that one thing, it can give you hope today. And as you can see, we're going big. So let's tee things up with a brand new That Show with That Guy. What is up, That Show family? Welcome to another episode. Before I explain to you guys what we're about to get into, I wanna introduce you to a friend that's gonna help me out with today's video. Everybody give a warm That Show family welcome to Daniel. What's up? <laughs> Daniel, What's up? thank you for being on the show today. Of course. How are you feeling? I gotta be honest, I'm nervous. Nervous? I'm, I'm really nervous. Nervous, that makes sense. We should just get into it because I think they'll probably understand when they see what's going on. Oh yeah. Three, two, one. Uh, that show family, we're gonna do some spicy trivia. So here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna ask Daniel a question. If he gets it right, I eat my first wing. If he gets it wrong, he eats his first wing. Then we'll switch. We're just going, okay? Yeah. First question for you. In which capital city of Europe would you find the Eiffel Tower? Paris. Dang it, yes, he got it right. First wing, first level. No, it's not gonna be hot. It's warm. <laughs> ask me a question. What? What kind of trees do acorns come from? Oak tree? Oak tree. Yeah, you eat yours. I join you. We both know our trivia. Okay, while you're munching on that one, I'm gonna ask you round two. What is a group of lions called? Oh, come on, Lion King, it's a pride. Dang it! It's yes, a it's a pride. Hmm, it is. A little bit of a Trojan horse. Okay. And it looks good, but then it enters and it's like, how many continents are there in the whole world? Seven? <laughs> oh my goodness, I was like, wait a second. I hope you guys like watching people eat. See, now I still feel it on my tongue. Here we go, that show family. <laughs> a scientist who studies rocks is called a what? Oh, uh, um, geologist? Dang it! Mm. Yes, oh mm. man, I was like, yo, you're about to eat too this round. No. Call an ambulance, call an ambulance. I don't know if I've ever ta- Oh, the throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's- <laughs> What movie will you find characters who are looking for a brain, a heart, and courage? Wizard of Oz. It's <laughs> gonna be a lot harder. I'm done looking at my fingers. Feel it in my face. Like, it's, yeah. get, it's getting hot. What kind of animal was Abu and Aladdin? Monkey. Dang it, yes, oh no. That's just me. Ooh. Mm. I don't want to drink anything, <laughs> but I want to so bad. How many pairs of wings do bees have? I'm not gonna think about it, I'm just gonna say two. Let's do it. Yes, okay, I didn't hear you at first. <laughs> this was worse. <laughs> oh no. I just gotta drink some blue cheese. That's so nasty. Oh, is there one more? Okay, are you ready? We're gonna wait on this one, and we'll eat it together if we both have to. Okay. <laughs> Who invented the telephone? I didn't even know this one. Is Edison? Nope, it's Alexander Graham Bell. I'm so sorry. So, you actually, we have a couple questions with. Pick whichever one you want. Okay, okay. Alrighty. Okay. What kind of trees do plums come from? Bro. A plum tree? No. I, I, I wasn't gonna waste time on it, but. Oh, shoot. It is a plum tree! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, okay. we're doing it. I'm, I, I treat my guests right on that show. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Love you, bro. Good luck. See you on the other Thank side. You. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> oh. That's so hot. <laughs> oh, I can't even talk. Oh! Cry, bro. Be right. Okay. I might throw up into this. The room is spinning right now. Just a little bit. 
I may pass out. That's show, we gotta go. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. As always, what do I say? What do I say? <laughs> Stay saucy, not that saucy, and love on somebody. We're gonna say it together, ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Stay, Stay saucy, saucy and, and love on somebody. somebody. That. I just burped when I said it. I hope I'll see you soon. Peace. Guys, look where we are. I love a stadium. I love even more watching a great game in a stadium. You know, every single year since I was a little kid, my dad and I, we'd go to the stadium and watch the Atlanta Braves play. Mm -hmm. See, first it was the Turner Field, and now at Truist Park, and every single year we would go, we would get our hot dogs, mustard and relish for him, and well, catch up only for me, of course, and we'd wear all of our gear, our foam fingers, we'd sit in the stands, and we would just cheer so loud, and we would have so much hope. This would be the year that the Braves would win the World Series. And then year after year after year after 25 years, it just felt like it was done, right? Because they kept losing. Like sometimes they were the worst team in the entire league, but we'd still sit there. We'd sit through the trouble of rain and long, boring games. <laughs> and the blazing heat. And then even, whoo, the freezing cold. Mm. But it was okay, because we had hope. One day our team was gonna win. I mean, that's what hope is, right? It's believing something good is going to happen. No matter what trouble we face, we believe that it can still turn out good. Like, we have hope to get an A on that really hard math test. Or we hope that the dentist says we don't have any cavities. I mean, whew, I hope that every single time. We hope that someone will wanna play with us at recess. See, hope is believing something good is going to happen. Well, the week leading up to Easter, Matthew and Luke in the Bible, they said that they saw a lot of people in the city of Jerusalem with hope. The people had just heard that Jesus was coming to town and they believed that something good was about to happen because they'd been waiting and they'd been hoping for the one person that God had promised so long ago, the one who would overcome all their trouble and be the savior. And then they started hearing stories about this guy named Jesus. And Jesus said that he was the son of God. And, and they'd heard that he'd been doing all these miracles. And see, then they heard that there were blind men who now could see and that people who were sick were now all of a sudden better. There was even a little girl. She had died and Jesus brought her back to life. So when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they got so excited and they lined the streets just like the people did at the Braves parade after they finally won the World Series. And they took their coats off and they cut palm branches and they laid it all down on the street. And then they saw him. There was Jesus, the one that they'd been waiting for. And suddenly the crowd goes wild. Hosanna, Hosanna, they shouted. The one who saves, Hosanna. It's kind of like how my dad and I felt when we watched the Braves finally win that World Series. Like, Yes, we waited all this time, we've hoped. It's been so long and it's here, finally. <laughs> See, Jesus brought with him so much hope for people. We can all be like big fans in a stadium shouting his name because what Jesus came to do on Easter overcomes all our troubles. It's the good thing that we've all been waiting for. And we'll tell you more about that next week. But today, here's what I want you to remember. You can have hope no matter what trouble comes your way because God is with us and you don't have to face trouble alone. And Jesus, he came to give us hope. So let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for sending us Jesus and help us 
to remember that no matter what trouble we face, that today there is hope that is always available because of Jesus. We love you so much. Amen. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world.